Hey, welcome back to DIY Willie. Today again, we're working on the 2012 Nissan Frontier. This job was kind of unexpected. Uh, when the when a friend of mine brought the truck in for those auction sensors, I noticed it had another sound in the engine. In fact, it's this idler pulley right there, the top one. Unfortunately, I sprayed it with a little WD-40 trying to prove and see if it was in fact the idler pulley and it quieted down right away. So I don't have uh, a record of the sound anymore. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the pulley off and uh, and uh, take it down and we'll, we'll pick up a new one and replace it while we've got the truck here. Uh, so I've got, to get that off of there, you need to take the belt off. And the tensioner for the belt is right there. If you can see me pointing at it. And uh, what you do is you take I've got a breaker bar here with a 15 millimeter on it and you just stick it down on there like so and you relieve the tension see that you relieve the tension on the belt this way uh, you can take the belt off and uh, remove that that uh, tensioner or the idler pulley so I need both hands to do this so I'm gonna put the camera away I'll get that belt off and then we'll take the tensioner off or the idler pulley So for the idler pulley, I used a 14 millimeter socket and, and a ratchet to get down there and loosen the bolt on the pulley right here. And we'll just run the bolt out. It's kind of a long, a long winded bolt, man. There we go. And we pull it out and there we go. We're gonna go ahead and replace this. It was making some squealing sounds. And uh, as soon as I shot some WD-40 into it, it quieted down. So I know uh, they need to be, be replaced. Now you could just keep lubricating it. And hope that that would work. I don't know if you can take it apart. It may be sealed bearing inside. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just buy a new one. It's about 64 bucks at the local parts store. And uh, we'll be good to go. Also looking at the belt, it's kind of discolored. And it's got some minor cracks in it here and there. I'm gonna go ahead and change up the belt while I have it off. So uh, let me go to the parts store. When I get back, we'll put everything back together. Okay, so I'm back with the new idler pulley. This is uh, Duralast part number 2331540. And I picked up a new belt, serpentine belt, while I have the old belt off to replace the tensioner. I'll just get the new one. I wanted a Continental belt, but they were all out, so I chose their Duralast belt. It should be fine. I've used them on my Samurai a lot. There is a diagram of uh, the, how the belt routes for the 2.5 liter, and there's a diagram for the 4.0 E6. So we're going to follow this one for the uh, 2.5 liter and the instructions. This time I'm pulling out the book because I wanted uh, torque specifications. And we've got drive belt tensioner bolts for the four cylinder. They torque to 16 inch pounds, or excuse me, 16 foot pounds. So uh, yeah, this time we've got accurate torque specifications. I was eating a little bit of lunch and I decided to check out the latest uh, Rather Be Welding video with his electric mini bike. Pretty cool video, but <clears throat> I'm gonna get going with the uh, tensioner install. Let's get the new tensioner out. So looking at the tensioner, you know, it's basically the same ten tensioner as the factory one. It does not come with the hardware. Let me turn the rather be welding off, Chris. All right, Chris, thank you very much. So the new pulley didn't come with hardware and the hardware is in here, it's on the pulley. So what you do, there's a little washer on here that kind of holds it in place. You can turn it and then turn the bolt holding the washer and it'll thread up until you can get your hands on it. And it just, it goes down kind of like a nut on the threads and uh, you just turn it out like that where you can take it off. There's a dust cover right here and then pull the hardware out. 
and then this side also has a dust cover so the dust cover goes on and the bolt goes on the open side of the bearing now you can like just like the mini bikes we can take this uh rubber or plastic uh dust shield off and you can lubricate these bearings not so much in the back but you can do it in the front and uh you can always put more lubrication i could probably do that to this one and make it work again but because it's been squealing means metal to metal for a while and i don't want to risk it so we just put a new one they're not that expensive i just reassemble it back in the reverse order turning that little nut down or the washer spacer whatever you want to call it until it goes down tight and tightens up against the dust cover that'll hold the dust cover tight just like that now we're ready to go back on the vehicle taking a look at the uh, belt that's coming off it shows it's probably will be hard to even see in the camera it shows very minor cracking nothing to be too concerned about right there you can see some good ones i don't know if it's going to show on the camera or not but overall i mean the belt probably could have went a little longer uh but like i said because we have it off we're gonna go ahead and, and just swap it out for a new one we can always hang on to this one if we need it you know you never know so i'm gonna go ahead and follow the routing to put the new belt on and then uh, we'll get that new idler pulley put on there and we should be good to go. I need two hands to do this. I'm not going to try to film it. Or at least I think. I don't know. We'll see. There's no way really to see down in there with the camera running. So we'll see what we do right now. All right. Let's see what we can do. Get that belt on there. And it goes around the bottom. Around the bottom, over the top. Um, 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 um. Let's see. Over this one. And then like that, I guess. I better look at the picture. All right, so the new belt's on. The new tension is on. Now I found it easiest when putting the belt on to not put it on the tensioner first leave the tensioner last put everything around all the pulleys and over the idler pulleys as in the picture and then push down take the tension off i'm using a breaker bar push down take the tension off and slide the belt over the the tensioner pulley it worked out the best for me and everything slipped right into place. Beautiful. Now we did also, we did also torque the idle pulley, as you can see, it's at 16 foot pounds. So yeah, that was uh, swapping out for a new idle pulley, the top one on top, that was making some horrible squealing sounds but uh, it should be good now. I'm going to put the tools away. We'll start it up and we'll see just how quiet it is. Let's start her up and see if that idler pulley is a lot quieter now. Should be. Oh yeah. That's as quiet as can be. It had a loud squeaking sound earlier. I wish I could have got that on this video, but... I was diagnosing it and I sprayed WD-40 into it and it quit squealing. So uh, we're just gonna call this good. New belt, new idler pulley. And the engine's back to normal. Whew. That was a good day's work. We actually got a few things done today. This is the day that we filmed the, uh, the replacing of the oxygen sensors. And we also did just now the uh, idler pulley and the serpentine belt. Um, the serpentine belt probably could have went longer, but since I had it off, they're only I don't know thirty something dollars. Just get a new one and put it on there. And the idler pulley, well, that was squealing really loud as I was described, and uh, <laughs> I sprayed it with WD-40, trying to isolate the squeal. 
and it did just exactly that it, it quieted right up and i didn't get to record it and and uh, show you what it was doing uh, the symptoms it was showing why it needed to replace but we got the new one in there everything's good and quiet uh, i think i'm going to go ahead and uh just check out the air filter check out the throttle body check the oil do those kinds of things like that and uh, this truck uh this truck and its projects will be wrapped up for today and uh the owner can come pick it up tomorrow or tuesday whatever he wants to do so if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and please please leave a comment down below if you have any questions or any uh, uh concerns of what i did or maybe something i should have done different uh, i'm always in the comments i'm always answering the best i can and and uh you know i, I like when people give me good feedback um visit the the playlist for the nissan frontier there's a lot of good information in there a lot of good projects on these trucks we have two of them that we pretty much focus on and uh it's fun so uh thanks for stopping by and checking out the videos and i'll see you next time bye